What's happening, Munchers? My name is Harsh. And I'm Shreyas. Award season is kicked off and we're back with a very special video. What are we doing today, Vartya? We're doing the very first Muncha Movies Movie Awards. Better known as the Munchies. We just want to talk about, this is something that we've created. Yes. This is our baby, ch- baby our brainchild. Yes. And obviously we know the Oscars are, you know, Copying us as usual, and so this, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of movies. We're going yes. to talk about a lot of categories that you know appeal to us, that yeah. really resonate with us as moviegoers and cinephiles. Yeah, because who gives a shit about best animated short, like, and best editing? Like, how do you even determine that? Exactly. And people are like clapping, like, whoa, whoa, yeah, they should have won the show. And how? How do you know exactly like, who edited the best? Thing? Yeah. So Oscars so, have their own audience. I think this is more yeah. for us, by us, from us. Absolutely. So enjoy. And, absolutely. And in the words of Green Martin Scorsese, this is real cinema to us. So I'm really sorry, Irishman doesn't make our cut. But <laughs> yeah, just stick around, <laughs> and we'll get back with you know. Yeah, our first category. Absolutely. Right. So before we actually start with the actual nominations, let's talk about some movies or some scenes that may not have made the cut. Yeah, the honorable mentions, man. Absolutely. First, so, I think the first thing that comes comes to the top of my mind yeah. is yeah, Joker. Todd Phillips' Joker that came out this year. It was a yeah. phenomenon. Right. And this movie, even though it's amazing yes. in totality, it's sprinkled with amazing scenes. Yeah. It's already been nominated for 11 Oscars, so yeah, yeah. I'm like just keep this out of this. Yeah, and, and the thing is like there were a few scenes up and down. There's you know the midget scene where you oh. know he finally makes a kill. There's uh, a dance scene. The, oh my god, the dance scene, the smiling at the end. Uh, yeah, there's just so much. Him yeah. killing him, him killing her. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, again, like we said, there's no one particular scene. I think the whole movie deserves absolutely, its, absolutely. deserves this due, and I think it's getting enough recognition as absolutely. is. A uh, good stuff, DC. You jackasses finally caught a gold gold mine there. But yeah, besides that, like we said, Irishman. <laughs> Move on. Martin Scorsese, not happening. So we know everybody loves Irishman, and obviously it's considered one of the real actual cinema movies. We've got Martin Scorsese coming back to helm such a massive movie. But these, this list, these nominations are from us, from proper, you know, geeks, yes. cinephiles, moviegoers. Real and cinema. we had some movies that had some mind-blowing scenes. Right. These nominations are in no particular order. Yeah. So we will obviously announce a winner that will come out around 10th Feb. I think, yeah, I think yeah. the Oscars try to rip us off again. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so we'll, yeah, we'll be out of the winners then. Yeah. But but yeah, here goes nothing. Yeah, so, so nominee one. number one. Let's get into this. Yeah. So, it had to be Avengers, the biggest movie, all time grossing number one. Endgame, yeah. Particular scene, Cap picking up Hammer. Oh man. Okay, yeah. Right. So, that's our first nomination of the best scene. Yeah. This is the scene where, you know, out of the blue, it's, it's clearly it's not been hinted to before. Yeah. Not, not, at not all. even in <laughs> Age of Ultron. Not, not, not even close. close. Captain America picks up the Milner. He's finally honorable. He's worthy. Holy yeah. shit. And actually, I think this is this when I, mean, I was watching the movie, watching the movie yeah. together, and yeah. this scene got the max the biggest round of applause. Yeah. People went crazy. I thought I saw people just yelling, yeah. shouting, crying, all of it. I mean even and it was a blast. Yeah, I mean, it. even specifically the way they've shown the scene. So basically Thanos is on yeah. Thor and he's pushing his own Stormbreaker in. Through his chest, yeah. Yeah, and it's so weird. It's like that flip where he went, didn't go for the head and went for the chest. So I, I love that playback. And then you see Mjolnir slightly levitate and then go towards him. And you think Mjolnir is coming to the rescue yeah. of Thor. And you see someone catch it and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that it is. What a switcheroo. And yep. I, I think this, this is what a nerdgasm for all the MCU fans. Sure. Everyone who stuck around for so long for 2021 movies. Right. I think this is something that they really wanted to see. And right. I think they stuck gold with it. Yeah, and it's not like we didn't forget the Avengers assemble. It's not like we didn't forget I am Iron Man. But right. this just was just came as a surprise. Absolutely. Uh, to think when they freaking built it up to do it right now and then, that perfect ending, it is. It had to be there. Moving on to the second nominations, I think this is probably one of my favorite, you know, contenders of the best scenes in any movie in 2019. Yeah. We're talking about Spider-Man Far From Home, the illusion yes. that Mysterio creates for Spider-Man. 
I have been a massive Spider-Man fan throughout, yeah. and you know I've seen played a lot of games. Especially the 2000 Spider-Man really resonated with me. Yeah. And you know I've faced Mysterio there. Yeah. Mysterio's all of this has been one of the you know enemies that I've always wanted to see on the big screen. Right. And my God, Jake Gyllenhaal nailed him, and this Absolutely. illusion just gave me goosebumps. Yeah, I mean I remember I didn't like the movie so much, but I saw the movie again just for that scene. I, I think you know, in I think in the words of the great Vidur singer, I've probably spent two hours watching just this scene. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that should say a lot about the scene. Yeah, man. I mean, it's so weird. It's it's like these guys just taking it a step, you know, a notch above. Absolutely. And they had to do that for Mysterio because that's his thing. And right. for them to do it in that particular storyline was just insane. And the way they use Iron Man to you know just haunt Spider Man. Oh, I think it, from, I think yeah, it really resonated with everybody. Right. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Nomination number three. This is straight from Quentin Tarantino. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh my God! That penultimate scene right at the end. Brad Pitt is tripping on some <laughs> acidic shit, acidic uh, cigarette. Yeah. But when he's holed up, he's got a gun in his face. He has no idea what's going on. What does he do? Oh my God! I love this scene. This is the finale to the entire movie, <laughs> and nobody would have thought he'd do this yeah. because throughout the movie, this movie, you know, even though the movie follows these two particular people yeah. and their made-up characters are fictional, right. everyone else, Sharon Tate and all yeah. of those guys, it's actually fact. existed. Yeah, it's all fact. Yeah. So you, nobody would thought that he'd actually put a Tarantino spin to the <laughs> ending, yeah. and the way the movie ends is mind-blowing. I had a blast. The entire theater had a blast. Yeah. You had a blast. I, I mean, was there. Yeah, I was like, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? She's like this beefed up, massive yeah. ass dog, and I'm like, where's the dog? Where's the dog? I know he's tripping, but where's the freaking dog? And there she was. Oh my god, she saw and the show. She missed the mouth. Yeah. Why um, isn't she nominated for an Oscar? <laughs> Nomination number four definitely goes to Ford versus Ferrari. The Damn. scene where Mr. Ford finally sits in his creation, yeah, and he cries. <laughs> it's it's such a sort of weird real scene to see these American badasses throwing money everywhere, and just for him to have like this real human moment, right? I think it was so sweet. Yeah. yeah, like when he sits and gets his mind blown, <laughs> he realizes he's actually accomplished something yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was a historic moment as well. Right, so right. completely, you completely understand why the scene is iconic. Right. And again, just Matt Damon doing his thing. Oh yes, as Shelby. Yeah. I think I I love the scene in particular. Yeah, I mean, I think the the very first sort of moment that I thought like some. Things up is Henry Ford the second. He's an old guy. He's a fat guy, and he gets into this sleek, tough to get in sports car. And I'm like, this is gonna have a tough time. Yeah. yeah, and then you know he does the lap, bursts open. I think that was beautiful. Yeah, that made the movie for me. Finally, our last nomination. It's a little heavy. It's a little intense. Movie called Marriage Story on Netflix. Kylo Ren going up against Black Widow. Black Widow, yeah. It's Adam Driver versus Scarlett Johansson. This argument, I think you must have heard a lot about yeah. it by now, because this scene is in. Dance. I've never seen something so realistic. This really reminded me of Manchester by the Sea Ooh. from I think a couple of years back yeah. because this movie is so real, so gripping, and so intense. And it is just a normal family drama. Yeah, I mean, just to see the level of frustration, the things that they're saying to each other, how Adam Driver breaks down, the weird redemption that they have at the end of that scene. It's a little too real. It, too it, real. it, it makes you exactly, uncomfortable. Exactly. Yeah. It does not have that sheen, the Hollywood yeah, yeah, gloss yeah. over it. It seems too real. It actually seems like two people actually arguing over yes. their relationship, bickering over how things have gone wrong. Right. And it really, really, really hit me. Right. And to get that ugly and then still come back and oh yeah. my god, this movie is just way too intense. And I also, it was either this or Kylo Ren versus Rey. You know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely going with this. <laughs> So that wraps up best scene nominations, honorable ones included for the Mancha Movies Movie Awards 2020. It's called Munchies. Keep it short, yo. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for sticking around. If yeah. there are any scenes that we've left out, you know, something that relates, to something that you know, yeah, you love, yeah. let us know in the comments below. Any movies that you want us to check out, do let us know in the comments below. Again, we'll be coming out with a lot more categories for Munchies. Yeah. And we'll be announcing the winners shortly. So Yo, man, after, so. stay tuned, Feb 10th. Absolutely, coming yeah. Oscars stop ripping us off again and again. <laughs> we'll catch you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, share, subscribe as usual. We love you guys. I still don't believe that Avengers Assembled didn't win one of the best scenes. Bro, what, 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 what nonsense is this? Uh, Captain America. That was that. That was it. Bro, loudest cheer. 
had to happen avengers assemble was on expected. your left on your left exactly it was it was hey. so expected so while he's doing the thing everyone's assembling and also all they're just watching it's a wallpaper moment what are you talking about bro that's like we led up to this it's fan service yeah trying to that's every marvel movie ever exactly fan service yes but that was a surprise bro that's what that had to win that's what it made it was this. season age of ultron <laughs> don't give me this nonsense people didn't get it <laughs> really they did a recap like when did this happen god so yeah